Oh, fuck. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be filming for you a very simple stay at home, but still a little bit of glam, uh, like wearable makeup look. I know a lot of you will be stuck at home, as we all are at the moment and it just is what it is but I thought why not give you guys something that you can glam yourself up with and still feel pretty still feel a little bit more vibrant fresh and awake it's easy it's simple to follow and it's something just to distract your minds with all that's going on at the moment this is also a super 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 exciting video because I'll be collaborating with the beautiful Laura Bailey TV I'll leave her channel link down below I've been friends with her for about two years now. She's from the UK, which is so cool. I love the UK. The, the English people, they have the best accents. They're so cool. But she's so lovely. She does all cruelty-free makeup tutorials and product hauls and things like that. So all the products that she tries and shows on her channel are all cruelty-free, which I think is incredible. So I do highly recommend checking out her channel. She'll be doing a look similar to this one, but her own little spin on it so i do hope you guys check out her channel like i said all the information for her will be linked down below otherwise without further ado let's get to the space shall we the space so the first product that we're going to go in today with is the dream serum from goody co i love 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 this product as a primer not only just as like a daily wear thing and i'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. I'm just gonna rub all of that in. Mm, it smells so fresh. It's got Davidson Plum and Lupilli in it and it literally just smells so good guys. Plus I love it to create a nice glowy base for the skin. It's really good for your skin too but it also creates a nice dewy glowy fresh look to your skin which is what I want as a base before we go in with all the other products. No need for sunscreen now, guys, since we'll be inside most of the time. I don't know, I'm not even much of a, a sunscreen wearer on de the daily anyway. Really, only if it's, like, necessary will I put it on. Oh, look, it's an aeroplane. I mean, our airport's supposed to be closed, so I'm wondering where that will be going. It's so crazy going through this at the moment. I know everyone's talking about it, so I don't really want to get too much into it. Uh, it is a little bit scary at the moment, just because there is a bit of, like, the touches of, like, civil unrest here in Sydney just because of like people being unemployed they can't get access to you know our welfare system properly so they can't get access to money and I do feel for all those families that do have kids or rent or like are struggling like living like week to week on money oh, that would be the most stressful thing and I just feel for all those people out there I'm so lucky that I'm blessed to be living in a household where you know I don't have to pay rent I don't have to pay like for food and things like that like all the time so I'm really really lucky and I just I count my blessings there's just so many things out there that right now do kind of bring attention to like how lucky you can be like how lucky we are and like it just I think it's a great time to reflect as well as like obviously stay on the side of caution try and stay well healthy happy it'll make a big difference but also just reflect and think like how grateful you are for the things that you have we get to spend more time with family like try reconnecting with people try and do all the things that you've wanted to do you've got all this time now and might as well indulge a little bit can you just see it leaves a little bit of a glow to the skin like mm, so nice and it just makes your skin feel so good don't mind the breakouts and acne scars here I haven't been eating too well. I've been snacking a lot because I'm home so much. It's such a bad habit that I do need to break. I did a video on how I'm managing my anxiety, which I go into a little bit of that. If you would like to watch that, I'll leave that linked up above in the cards as well as down below for you, darling. If you do want to check it out. I do just find that the tips I give, I'm still working on keeping to them. I know they help, but it, like being strict on myself and like actually doing them is a different story. But... When I do do them, I feel so much better. I have so much less anxiety. I can just feel my head being more clear and like, I don't have that cloudiness, if you know what I mean. Like where I do get with anxiety, I just, I'm all emotion. I'm not clear headed at all. Enough rambling, now onto the skin. So you guys know me, I'm such a fan of this um, company, the Raw, or even just their foundation. I haven't tried too much of the rest of their products. 
but I am such a fan of their foundation. It's a perfect like amount of coverage. It's natural, it's soft, it looks great on the skin. And the best thing is it's 100% natural. So I know I'm not putting like nasty things onto my skin. So this is actually my first collaboration with a YouTuber, guys. I'm so excited. She's such an incredible YouTuber as well. She has the most beautiful heart, like such a heart of gold. I've been chatting with her lately, um, especially just because we're both at home all the time. And I'm so intrigued to see what she actually comes up with and what products she uses because she always has such incredible products. So I'm literally just creating such a light coverage on my skin. Oh, it's so nice. See how that glowy base just shines through the foundation? Oh, it's so pretty. So you guys have seen me use this product before. It's the Natasha Denona Body Glow in the shade Medium. So I've just sprayed it onto my sponge. I'm just going to dab it in the areas where I want a glow. And it does give the most stunning stunning glow. It is a body glow so it's meant to be on the body but I use it on my face all the time honestly. It works like a charm. And it has a bit of a tinge to it. As you can see it was in the shade medium so it does have a bit of a bronzy tinge. And it's applied to, like I said, just the points where I want a liquidy glow. You know? So next for concealer I'm going to take my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade medium win and just apply that under my eyes and any spots that I want to conceal. And I just applied the concealer to the inner corner of my eye where I get the most pigment. I don't like having too much product under the eyes because that's when I can start to get a lot of creasing. Okay, so for contouring, I'm going to cream contour today. I usually cream bronze or I'll use something to kind of give a bit of slight contour to the face. But I thought, why not change it up? I haven't used this product in like a minute and a half. It has been a little while. And I did used to love it so much. This is the Australis Contouring and Highlighting Kit in the Cool Tone Cream. I'm just taking it on the back end of my cheekbones. And just on a little real technique uh, what do you call this? Stippling brush. I'm just going to blend it upwards. And then I go back in with my beauty sponge to just diffuse it out ever so slightly more. I am aware I have not set my concealer and I actually won't be going in with a face powder just because I actually like it for an everyday, especially if I'm at home, it's having the concealer there and if it does start to move throughout the day, I'll literally just go back in, pat out those potential creases just softly on both sides and that's all I need to do to get rid of those creasing. Creases. So finally for the last cream product of the day, I'm going to take the Master Glaze uh, Blush Stick from Maybelline in the shade Coral Sheen. I always make sure to tap off the excess on the back of my hand because this blush is so pigmented. It can become a hot mess very quickly if you don't diffuse it a little bit. And I'm only just packing it onto the back end of my cheek. And I'll bring whatever's left onto the apples. Mm, this colour is so stunning. It just makes you look so fresh. It gives such a nice colour to the skin. I also like to dab just a tiny tiny amount on the tip like the bridge of my nose just like that so it kind of carries through so before we add any glow to the skin I'm just going to touch up my brows a little bit now I do love just using a tinted brow for a quick everyday kind of rush through but when I'm doing my brows a little bit more structured which I have actually liked doing lately I fill them in so I like to use two brow powders. If you watch me, you guys know I use these all the time. I freaking love the Maybelline uh, Master Brow Pro palettes. I mean, I've used them for years now and I still can't remember the name, so we're going strong. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little angled brush and I'm dipping into the soft brown shade, the soft brown palette first. It's going to fill in the head of my brow, so just flicking it up like so. Just like that. So there's a little bit of colour there rather it being like so sparse and dead looking. And then I just take a little spoolie brush and I just kind of buff that product into the brow hairs. So you can see this palette is well loved. So actually what I've been initially, initially, 
what I've been initially loving and like been doing all the time lately. So I'll dip into the cream part first. I'm just going to fill in the bottom of the brow. So I go through with that cream product first and I just go in and line that shape along the bottom area. It's so faint as you can see it's not really that pigmented yet. Then what I do is I go in and dip into the powder part and I just go in back over top of that cream brow product and fill it in and you can see you get a nice crisp line it's just so juicy mm. I'm just going back in and just kind of shaping that end part of the brow too and I just go and fill it in so I go through with this clear brow gel from Ardell and just kind of as well as sticking the hairs in place I like to kind of comb that brow powder through so it's a little less harsh and it just makes my brows look a little fluffier. So for highlight today, I'm going to take my Violet Boss Highlighting Trio. So it comes with three shadows as you can see. I actually prefer these two. This one's a little bit too dark for me. So I'm initially going to start off with this bronzy tone highlight. I'm just going to apply this to the high points of the face and kind of into the cheeks as well a little bit. To see how beautiful that glow is. Oh, she is a stunner. And I'm just applying that over top of um, that Natasha Denona highlighter that we used on our face. Because that was like a base. And then we just intensify it with this. I like to look glowy on a daily basis. Then I'm going to dip into Moon Gleam, which is the lighter shade of the three. And I'm just taking my little contour brush and just using the side of it. I actually don't go on the whole thing. I use the side and I just barely touch that highlight to the very high points of the cheekbones. I think layering highlights is more effective than just going in with one stark highlight. I don't know, for me it just looks more natural. I feel like if you're at home, you're not really that inclined to wear false lashes. And I don't personally wear lashes on the daily, so I thought I'd just kind of keep it to what I would literally do since I've been stuck at home, if I'm not trying something fully glam, I honestly just wear this. So I'm just curling my lashes. Does anyone else struggle getting all of your lashes into the curler too? Like, I honestly find it so hard sometimes. But honestly, doesn't the curling just make such a difference? Ah, oh, so really what I'm going to do with the eyes is I've curled my lashes. I'm going to apply a nude eye curl to my waterline to open up the eyes and make them look a little bit more fresh and awake. And for mascara, I'm actually going to take this Argan Wear Physics Formula. Oh no, lol, I can't speak. So I'm actually going to take this Argan Wear Physicians Formula mascara. I love this because it literally makes your lashes so black. The wand is just not my favourite, like it can make them a bit chunky if you're not careful. And only on my top lashes, I don't put it on my bottom lashes. I know I'm not much to wear all the time like in my recent videos I do tell you that I don't really wear mascara. I always like to focus on the skin but you know lately I think I'm just getting back into mascara again. I just like to change up my look. Sometimes I'll wear it, sometimes I won't. It depends on my mood. Alright for lips this is my favourite bit because honestly truly I love to change up my lip colour. Like sometimes I'll go bold, sometimes I'll do a nude glossy glowy lip. Like it literally depends on my mood. Today I think I want to go with something a little bit, what am I wearing? Like florally pink? I'm going to go with just something nude. Do you think that will look good? I did nude in my last video. Oh that's really pretty. I think I might use this lipstick. I actually have no idea where I got it from, sorry guys. It has a B on the top. If you can see that. Um, it's just more of like a creamy pinky nude. Almost rosy toned. I was going to use my Focalore Who's Next. But I actually want something a little bit softer. I haven't used cream lipsticks in so long. I freaking love just the formula of them. Actually you know what I might do? I might line my lips first. I'm going to take my classic lip liner. I find if I don't use lip liner underneath the lipstick like it wears away in two seconds. Especially, you know, with my snacking habits, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> then taking this beautiful rosy colour, uh, rosy pink, rosy red, I think it's a rosy brown actually. I'm just gonna fill in my lips. Oh dear lord, that is so beautiful. I can't believe I have not worn this in forever, it's so freaking stunning. I think it's because I don't know the brand, I'm hesitant to use it on my videos. 
but in real life like i completely forgot about this <laughs> and guys this completes today's very fresh glowy stay at home everyday kind of natural makeup i hope it was in a simple routine for you i know there was a fair like a fair few products in there i guess but the steps are pretty simple and i just love a good glowy dewy skin look for an everyday and honestly i'm obsessed with this lip color like i can't believe i have not worn this more I forgot how beautiful it was. I will have to try and have a look and see if I can find where it's from. Um, is it Bellamy? Like, I don't know. If you do know where it's from, then please let me know too. But just a, like, a nice rosy tone brown will go so well with this look. Honestly, you could really wear any look. Any lip colour with this look would look amazing. Because like for a glowy, dewy skin look, simple eyes, like any lip colour pairs well with it. That's why I love wearing like a dewy, natural skin not a lot of eye makeup and then focusing on the lip colour like that's what I change up in my daily routine with makeup is the lip colour because you can get really creative and I feel like being stuck at home you do need to have a bit of variety in your life so just having a little bit of tweaks here and there trying new things trying new products will help you keep sane for me it is helping anyway and just trying new looks in general just is a bit of fun i do hope you enjoyed this video like i said please check out laura's video she is such a darling she's such a beautiful soul and i love her tutorials i especially love her new year's eve one she did a collaboration with that too but i loved it so much the glitter the deep kind of cool tone smoky eye was beautiful but yeah guys please let me know what you think of the video if you did like it Make sure to leave a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell button next to it. And make sure you click the all. You don't want the other stuff there. You want to make sure you're notified with all my videos so you can stay up to date. And yeah. Otherwise, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Check out Laura's video. Don't forget. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye my loves. Mm.